Hello everyone and welcome to my favorite topic ever, Pokemon Unite. This will be a series with multiple parts where I will cover everything that you need to know to get started in the new MOBA Pokemon Unite by the Pokemon Company and Teamy Studios. Today's episode will kick things off, I will explain how the game works on a very basic level, I will be talking about items and I will be talking about all the maps and modes that are available right now. So, how does this game work? The backstory for the game is basically that a powerful energy source has been discovered on the Eos Island. This energy makes Pokemon grow stronger and provides them with enhanced abilities. So obviously, Pokemon trainers from all around the world will travel to this island and they will try their hardest to get their hand on this Eos energy. Before battle, each player chooses one Pokemon that they're gonna play for the full duration of the battle. Just as in almost every other MOBA, the Pokemon are divided into five different classes according to the strong points in their kit and the weak points in their kit. Trainers can choose which attacks their Pokemon will learn and also which items they bring into battle. The Pokemon will even evolve during battle if they're a Pokemon that can still evolve. After entering a match, you can collect the Aeos energy by defeating wild or enemy Pokemon. The energy that you pick up needs to be slam dunked in the enemy goal zone to collect points for your team. At the end of the match, which will always be after 10 minutes, by the way, the team with more points wins. Instead of the familiar runes or summoner spells, Pokemon Unite uses battle items and held items. Those are all items that we are very familiar with from the classic Pokemon games. The battle items provide an active ability and you can only equip your Pokemon with one of them. Held items, however, change your Pokemon stats and you can choose a combination of three held items to give to your Pokemon. Just like in classic MOBAs, the standard mode is 5v5. 5v5 is played on a map that's called Remote, which features two lanes on the top and the bottom of the map and a big jungle area in the middle of it. And, as in all other MOBAs, there's also two neutral objectives on the map. In the middle of the map, you can find the legendary pit featuring the legendary Pokemon Zapdos. Zapdos is a final boss that can turn the tides of a match. If your team manages to defeat Zapdos, your team will receive bonus points and the enemy goal zones will be left without defense for a short period of time. In the bottom part of the map, there's also the beach area with another objective. There you can defeat a Dreadnought to give bonus XP to your team and provide a shield for your teammates. But the 5v5 map is not the only playable one. There's a lot of different maps in the game, each with their very own mechanic. There's maps with less goal zones and there's also maps designed for a different amount of players, 3v3 for example. Thank you guys so much for watching, please consider subscribing if you like this type of content. I will cover Pokemon Unite in the future and provide you guys with the basics that you need to have a great time starting into this game even if you're new to MOBAs. See you soon.